Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History channel. We hope you're all well and you're looking after yourself. Tonight's video is going to be my best ever NRL English players. So this video is going to be based off players from England that have played in the NRL. Um, I'm not going to include current players, so Josh Hodgson, John Bateman and the like, they're not going to be included. This is going to be solely players that have come from England, gone over to Australia played in the NRL and either have retired or gone back to England. So I'm going to name a few players and I'm going to start off with the first one which is Tommy Bishop. So Tommy Bishop played for Cronulla Sutherland between 1969 and 1973. He captain coached Cronulla to the 1973 grand final loss against Manly. Um, he was really one of the best players in the competition at the time. And he had a very successful career at Cronulla. The next player I'm going to name is Mal Riley. He played for Manly in the early 1970s. He won two premierships with the club, 1972-1973. He was regarded as one of the toughest players in the competition at the time. He was very respected amongst all the other clubs as well. Everyone knew how tough he was. And an interesting note, he come back to Australia in the 1990s and he coached Newcastle of their first premiership in 1997. The next player I'm going to name is Dave Bolton. He played 78 matches for Belmeen between 1965 and 1970. He had a very successful career before he came to Australia. Um, and then he played with Belmeen for those five years. He played in two grand finals one was the 1966 grand final loss against St George and then he was part of the 1969 grand final victory over South which was Belmeen's last in the competition. He played at half back in that match and he was one of the only English players that's won a competition here in England and then gone over to the NRL New South Wales Rugby League and won a competition over there. The next player is El Ellery Hanley. Ellery Hanley played for Belmeen in two spells and he also played for Western Suburbs. He's probably best remembered for when he went over to Australia in 1988. He was regarded as probably the best player in the world at that time. And he played eight matches for Belmeen in that season. Uh, four of which were sudden death matches to meet the grand final and I think he scored a try in each of those matches. Um, in the grand final, unfortunately, uh, Belmeen were right in the match and then, unfortunately, Terry Lamb hit El Ellery Anley with a late tackle, which some have said has well, it cost Belmeen the match. And uh, they never recovered after Hanley went off the field. The next season, he played with Western Suburbs and then later in his career, he come back and played a season with Belmeen. The next player I'm going to name is Gareth Ellis. He played for the West Tigers between 2009 and 2012. He was voted the club's best player three years in a row. Um, after he left the club, I personally think this is my own opinion, I don't think that they've really recovered since Gareth Ellis has left the club. He was a fantastic player. A very good um, player um, in terms of attack and defence. But he was also a bit of an enforcer as well. And I remember watching the West Tigers at the time and I'd see he was probably, along with Benji Marshall, Robbie Farrer and a couple of others, um, they had a really, really good team back then. But after Gareth Ellis left the club in 2012, they just haven't looked the same team since he left the club. The next player, Sam Burgess. Sam Burgess... Um, there's not really much I can see that people probably don't already know. He's played nearly 200 games in the NRL with South. He was the Clive Churchill medal, medal winner in 2014. He played with a, with a fractured cheekbone for pretty much 79 minutes of that grand final against Canterbury. And that match has been, well, especially the Sam Burgess part of it's been replayed and told over and over again. And I'm sure it'll be told again in the future. One thing I'll say about Sam Burgess is that 
uh, I think in this is in me my own personal opinion. I think he is the best signing that South have made since their readmission in the competition in twenty in two thousand and two. I know that they've signed players like Roy Asatazi, Greg Inglis, etc. But I think Sam Burgess was their most important signing. And I think for a number of seasons he was one of their best players. And I at least I can see I had the privilege of watching him play. He was a fantastic player. He did some great things on the field. He was a, a great player in attack, great player in defence. He also played an enforcer type role. Um, one thing with Sam Bear, just when he played, you always knew that you were going to get 100%. Win, lose or draw, Sam, Sam Bear just would always play his heart out. The next player in a similar vein is James Graham, who's just coming back over to England probably as we speak to play with St Helens. He played, I think... Eight year in the NRL with Canterbury Bankstown where he was in two losing grand finals and then he come over to St George. James Graham, like Sam Burgess, you always knew that you were gonna get a hundred percent with James Graham. He played with everything that he possibly could. He was um, a great player in defence. One thing that I've always noticed about James Graham is that if the opposition players would make a break. James Graham would always be the always be the player chasing them. Even if he had no chance of catching them and they were gonna score a try for all money, you'd always see James Graham in the back on the in, in the in the cameras, always running after the player. He'd never give up on out. And um he was a I think he was a very well liked player in the NRL as well. He he um, he had a bit of character about him and um I think He'll be really missed in the NRL. The next player is Am is uh, Adrian Marley. He played with Eastern Suburbs Sydney Roosters in the early two thousands. He played a total of hundred uh, a total of one hundred and forty in matches for the club. He was part of that two thousand and two Premiership winning team. He also played in the two thousand and three two thousand and four losing grand finals. Adrian Marley, like James Graham. Like Sam Burgess and Gareth Ellis, very, very tough. He was a noted in Farsi, never took a backward step. I think he was one of the keys to Eastern Suburbs' success in that early 2000s. He was a great player and um, I think he really left his mark on the NRL competition. And the last player I'm going to add, some people might disagree with this one, but I'm going to put Gareth Widdop. He played a total of 196 matches for Melbourne and St George. He won a premiership with St George, uh, with Melbourne in 2012. And after a couple of years there, he went to St George, where he became a very key player for St George. Um, he had some problems with injuries, but when he was fully fit and when he was ready to go, he was probably, I'd say, one of the most consistent players in the competition. Good goal kicker. Um, he was a very important member of that St George squad when he was fit. And um, I think ever since he's left to go back over to England with uh, Warrington, I think he's been sorely missed by St George. I think they made the wrong decision in keeping Corey Norman and a couple of other players and getting rid of, and getting rid of him. So that's me list for tonight. Um, that's some of me, in, in my opinion anyway, the the best English players to have played in the NRL New South Wales Rugby League competition. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get a new email. I'll be doing me tipping video tomorrow for round eight of the NRL competition. Stay tuned for that one. But as always, everyone, look after yourselves. Catch us all later. Tatty bye.